Are we ready to put an end to it? What the fuck is that thing uh, in the thumbnail, Edgy? What thing in the thumbnail? Oh, that. The thumbnail for the archive. What the fuck is that thing? You're about to see. I also... Oh, yeah. Also... Games, please do this. Like, please inform me when it's like the final boss, when it's the point of no return. Like, thank you, Undertale, and Rise of the Tomb Raider, and The Witcher 3. I don't know what other games do it. Ah, uh, I know there's a few, I just... I... Alright, there is one thing I do really like from... Um, one thing that I find pretty noteworthy about this battle, uh, one that I... I feel like it's really good, but at the same time scared the fuck out of me. Um, and you're about to see it. <laughs> he literally destroys our mercy button. So that kind of does... I that he did that. Yeah, so that does highlight that this is the point of um, you have to kill him. It's like no. Um, it, it kind of also makes me wonder why he did. He doesn't destroy the act button because that's a, a pretty useless yeah. button at this point. But I guess if you want to know his stats or or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, can I just say his design now of like the boss battle? I like it. Oh yeah, like Asgore is a badass motherfucker. Like, it's yeah, a really he, good he final may, boss. May, yeah. He may, like, seem sweet and, like, innocent, but just when push comes to shove, he is a badass. Yeah. Yeah, like, so th Asgore th is an anime protagonist. I mean, I wouldn't mind watching an anime about Asgore. Mm. Like, there, there are plenty of anime protagonists that act like goofballs, but basically you set them off. Yeah, you're dealing with someone who can a badass. Yeah, and it's one of the reasons when, um, why I when, think Monkey D. Luffy is one of the better shown protagonists. Yeah, I was just, I was just gonna say, like, wouldn't Luffy fall under that category? Like, yeah. I mean, remember when he lost his hat? In hell, reminder, yeah. he take reminder the two biggest punches, the two fan favorite punches he does. In the okay, so, okay, so take take a look at this. We we consume the the pie that Torio baked for us, and, and because you of that, the stats. that's interesting. Yeah, because the, the thing is, like a lot of people, if, if this is your first time playing, a lot of people would would have dropped the um, would have already consumed it. So I think it's really great that like this is a thing you can you can do in the game, and there is an extra it's an extra detail that you get. No, granted, it, it, the boss fight is still, and part of my French, fucking brutal. But mm. yeah, it, it's not like you're getting an easy mode. But once again, it, it is something that I feel like it's really great that it's, um, it's there. However, yeah. it, it's not like it's not like the Toriel fight where, you know, because you started acting a certain way. Um, his attacks are now suddenly avoiding you. No, you still need to, you still need to avoid them. But they're they become slower. They don't hit as hard, and you also hit harder. So I believe that before taking the the pie, it's um it's 120 damage um, at max, and here it's um 135. And I take it, take it if you're high, any higher level, you would deal more, much more damage. Um, I don't think so. I think the damage output is severely dependent on your stats. However, mm. if you have a higher level of violence, um, you um, you have more health. Yeah. I, to be straight honest, I hate shit like that. She like what? Like that, like that barrage of slashes he does when basically 
one space one is blue one is orange i hate that type of stuff because yeah, those, but, those but come it, way too fast yeah but if you look at if you look at his eyes you know what he's going to do true so that's no, once that's again true. so that's once again something that i really feel is well designed about it yeah but you also have to know that ahead of time yeah also, uh, do you guys remember, do you guys, did you guys notice that, um, like, really colorful pattern in the background? Yeah. Yeah, yeah fun fact, because of that, and, um, what's coming up, this episode is actually double the size, uh, the size of previous episodes. Really? Yeah, wow. so, so previous episodes were at, like, um, I won't say four or five hundred megabytes, and this part in particular is about 1.2 gigabytes. Jeez. Granted, for my standards, that's not a lot. Like, it, it really isn't. Yeah, and this is once again the part where you defeat the the RPG antagonist and you kind of just feel bad for it. Like, that's the thing, like, a lot of the characters in this game, you, you cannot feel... You can only feel bad for them. You don't have a reason to... Well, if you're looking for them, you have a reason to hate them, but... Asgore yeah. didn't specifically do anything wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And I also like how the, um, how the mercy button was, um, like, duct tape together. That, that's yeah. one detail I do, I do kind of like. Also, your wife and I, your wife and you are still separated, Asgore. I mean, you know, split parents. Okay, yeah, they but he's... like a divorce, kind of. Yeah, but he specifically talks about, like, um, Toriel. Yeah. Regretfully. Uh-oh. Yeah, so... Oh, shit. You remember Flowey? That little freaking... Oh, I hate... Mm. <laughs> yeah, and the one reason why I dislike this for recording is because, um... Flowey will crash your game, yeah. and you have to, you have to restart, which is not good for recording because you can tell that Nvidia icon there still still being there visible, and I don't like when stuff like that is visible. Yeah, I don't I don't like that either. Yeah, it's yeah. like if 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 you want to basically do that type of thing. Then, then have a fake out. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. which is what. But they, make oh, sure that people know it's fake. Well, that's what the console versions do. They they just they just quote unquote reboot. True. Yeah. And yeah, this is the part where um, Flowey fucks with the game. Uh, your save yeah. file has supposedly been erased. Yeah. And, and he's um, about to get at, he's about to get. A res like an answer to his question about the thumbnail for this video. Yeah. 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 Are Are you ready for it, Yu Yu? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> also, here's a question that I have: Why is it that every time games or animes or whatever talk about like? A being becoming a powerful entity and they need a certain amount of MacGuffins. Why is it always Seven? Yeah. I don't know. I think Seven's like a lucky number, maybe. I don't know. Well, I know that Seven is a lucky number, but like... I don't know. Maybe, maybe like... Seven continents, Seven world wonders. Seven maybe, in maybe, hand. maybe there's like a Life rich history. Being sand. Hmm? And here comes the final boss 
of the neutral playthrough. Uh, it's... I don't, I don't uh, know how high Toby Fox was when he, when he made this. Came up with this design. I yeah, don't, I don't, I don't, it's, don't... It's something out of like, fucking hell. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is just, oh. I'll yeah, admit, it... when I played through the game, like when I got to this part, I just, I couldn't play resume just because like this image alone scared the crap out of me and it haunted Bloodborne me. Bloodborne would scare like, the shit out of you, then D-pad. Uh, yeah. Like, l let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person to get scared easily, especially in like, in like horror games. But this is the kind of, this is the kind mm -hmm. of shit where it takes me so out of it that it, it's like, okay, it, it's not exactly like, um, like that, but it, it, it feels like I cannot, it, this is the kind of stuff where I, I need to make sure that the lights are on when I, uh, when I play this. Yeah, now yeah. there is there is one thing that I do feel is re designed really well from this um, from this boss fight, and that is that every time you convert a soul, um, like okay, so I, I should explain the premise of this boss fight. Um, throughout the boss fight, Flowey will uh, fuck around with the like saving and and loading mm -hmm. of the of the game, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so if you fall in battle, it, it supposedly resets it. However, every now and then you have a soul transition, so kind of what's going on right now. Yeah, like this, like this, where, like this. Where the soul takes over. And if you manage to convert a soul, um, it will stay like that even between uh, between flowy saving and loading. Okay. Yeah, so e even, if you, even if you fall in battle, um, you will still retain the souls, and... Once you have all, uh, once you have all six of them, they will remain by your side. And if you convert a soul, oh, all the all the attacks from that um, from that soul attack, um, Flowey, become become to your aid. Okay. Okay. Also, D pad, look at what I sent you. On I know. I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look after the recording, just because I don't want to. Oh, like, come on. Look away. Well, keep in mind, I'm recording, like True. I'm recording my audio through my phone. And I'm True. afraid that if I leave the app, it will shut my recording down. Okay, so I'm going to look after. I sent you a picture of the Winter, lan winter Lantern from Bloodborne. Oh, just hang on. to I show you what the what type the of is that? shit what the you're going to deal with in, in, um, oh. in Bloodborne. Yep, that's going to haunt me in my dreams now. Thank you, Yuyu. <laughs> I mean, hell, to, to be to, to be to fair with, To be fair with a boss fight like this, I don't think any of us will be sleeping tonight anyway. I'm which nice. is which is weird because we're all like grown men. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how nice for you, you, you. I'm, I mean, granted, I finally got my coffee maker. Like, I got my coffee maker that I bought like on Boxing Day. I finally got it. <laughs> like, I finally opened it just because like my room was a mess of that. So, I've actually made a few cups already. So, what's not to say you know I'll just drink a couple more cups later, stay up I need tonight because I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight after this. I need to clean the filter in my coffee maker. Mine's really cool because it's like a built-in filter, so I just gotta like rinse and like dry it and that like take off like it's it's one of those like cheap um coffee makers. It's like a it's a Dungeons and Dragons coffee maker. Oh nice. I didn't know they make yeah, coffee um... makers. <laughs> yeah, apparently the brand that like um did this coffee maker, like they do a bunch of these cheap coffee makers like there's an x-men one there's a spider-man one captain america iron man disney themed ah uh, yeah no i i just have I a actually... i i just have a cheap uh nest cafe dulce gusto i don't even know if that's nice. like i got this because it was on there. i got this because it was on sale for boxing day um it cost me like 25 bucks ah yeah, the one thing I don't like about my about my coffee maker, I, I don't like I don't like pads. I, I don't I don't like those those coffee pad yeah. thingies. See, I, prefer I like when you grounds, call like... for help in the in the cooking sec segment, the flames turn into cookies. I like that. Yeah, I could use some cookies right now. 
that's what we did yesterday, like, at home. We, like, did a lot of, like, we baked a lot of cookies and decorated a lot of cookies yesterday. Ah. Yeah, I, I kind of need to get I'm into, I, I kind of need to get into baking one of these days. Problem is, for, for, for whatever reason, my father gets, like, really anal when I, when I use the, the stove without his permission, even though it's, like, I'm 23. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, anyway, uh, welcome to the part where I don't, I barely get, like, any health because it, it goes way too fast. Luckily for me. Yeah. And I also really do like this moment, like, when the, when the souls actively surround themselves uh, around you, showing that you're really close, you're, you're getting there. Like, this is the part where you, this is the part where if you're playing it, you get pumped. Yeah, so you can see that Flower's defense dropped to zero, um, his attacks are, like, way, way slower. And every now and then you get dropped mm -hmm. a healing item, so yeah, it's well. That, that's good. Yeah, I, I like it. Okay, so you know, like again, even like that. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead, go. I was like, just gonna say, you know, like how from time to time there's that person like on the screen. Is that supposed to be Toby Fox, or is that just some random person? Um, again, I don't correct. know, but. Yeah, once again, this um, this fight, in my opinion, has been designed really well, and I've, I, even though it, 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 like, even though it scares the fuck out of me, again, it, it's a really well designed designed mm. boss fight. Mm. And this, again, this yeah, is the part where the, the climax is there. Like it's, it's just you're you're, get, you're getting close. You you're almost there. Victory is within your grasp. Yeah, like it, it's it's going all out for this boss battle. Like that's it's so impressive. Yeah. Although at the like, same okay, time, it, okay, at the okay, same time, okay, it, it real does quick, real quick. You wanna know what the hell this thing is called? Photoshop Flowey. Yeah. What? Yeah. What the fuck? Why is that the name? Right. Yeah. To, you, to, to you, be fair, it, to be fair, it's kind of unrealistic because Flowey doesn't seem like the kind to talk. Flowey doesn't seem like the kind to pay for Adobe's predatory subscription. Um, okay. Uh, the screen on the face is, resembles that of Yes Man from New Vegas. Really? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm looking at the wiki and that's what it's saying, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and, um, you didn't, I don't think you showed it. But, um, the game over screen is... Yeah, yeah. The, the, and, game, oh. the game over screen is basically Flowey laughing at you going like... Uh, filling, and, your, yeah. filling your screen with ha 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 ha, and then it um, it crashes the game. Yeah, and it's basically a reference to to, to Toby's Halloween hack of Earthbam. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Because mind oh, yeah. it, he did do that. Yeah, I, I completely forgot, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's where Megalovania came from. I think so. Yeah, so this it is the part where you've already won. It it's just taking a while to for Flower to realize. Oh no, he lost his flowers. Hey, at least this is hey, at least you're not having to dodge shit like in the end from Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. Yeah, but <sighs> you you you. you. I, I, I said, oh no, he lost his flowers. Okay, apologies to anyone who, like, will get, like, you know, seizure from, like, that scene. Apologies in advance for that. Yeah, I'm gonna put a warning in the, in the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
What happens if you go fight? Uh, you basically you basically kill Flowey, and he goes like, "I knew you had it in you." Yeah. Honestly, I feel that basically this should be the one time where yeah, I know if you're doing a pass fish, this is your one kill. Yeah, but the the thing is, I I don't think that if you um. Okay, so after the after the credits, uh, Flowey will basically tell you like. Hey, um, do you want to get a better ending? Like, Flowey tells you how to get, um, that if you return to the game, um, you can get the, um, the pacifist, uh, ending. Also, how the fuck does Flowey run away? He's a flower. He can, like, uproot himself? I don't know. Yeah. What anyway, am, what um, am I, a gardener? Anyway, there are credits here. However, I I am skipping them. I believe. You're saving for the um yeah for part twelve. Oh, we're. I guess they're short credits. If I'm not skipping them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're 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 short uh, credits. There's just the, okay. uh, the after credit sequence. Which, again, is where Flowey tells you, like, hey, um, this is how you get the true ending. If you want the good ending, bad ending, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. That's what they, this needs to be... Flowery telling us. No, no, Flowey will. Not Sans. He will. Flowey will. Okay. Um, interrupt. Or well, not interrupt, mm -hmm. but Flowey will tell us. But we need. We need to. Um, Sans is leaving behind a voicemail for us, which is weird because. They have reception. They, they, they have a line to the human world. Like, Sans, do you not know the phone number for 911? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Papyrus interrupts. Hello. Oh, Can I talk to him too? <laughs> I love <It> that. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I, I also like love how, how Papyrus. I also love how Papyrus reached uh, achieved his dream of being like part of the royal guard, mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. the royal guard disbanded. So like, congratulations! Oh, they just, like, water flowers. Congratulations! <laughs> you can sit on our table. We just moved to a different table. <laughs> and needless to say, um, depending on the on the people you kill, if you're doing neutral, um, you get a different, you get a different phone call because obviously you can kill, you can kill Papyrus, you can kill Undyne. Mm -hmm. I don't think, uh, I don't think Toriel calls you, which I kind of wish she does. Weird. Well, granted, doesn't she become queen? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I wait, wait, oh, oh, okay, okay, I, I, I remember, I remember. Um, yeah, so, so you, you can, you can say hi to the queen, but she's like, uh, she's busy. Yeah. She can bench press seven children. Interesting. I mean, how much do children weigh? Depends on the kid. It depends on how much they well, weigh. It, it, it depends, depends on how on, much they weigh. It depends on the kid. It depends on the age. It, it, it depends on if it's a fat kid or a thin kid. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I could probably bench seven children. Like, if, the, if they're newborns, they're like half a kilogram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can I can lift three point seven kilograms. I mean, no, when I when I get icy, I already I already lift uh, six kilogram all the way to home, or not specifically six kilogram, but like six liters. But then a liter weighs about the same as a kilogram, except not really. Like for example, this um, this conveniently placed uh, Ben and Jerry I'm having. Um, oh. It says that it's 465 milliliters, but then it's also saying 408 grams, so... 
Units are weird. Yeah, they are. I love that Papyrus is just like his fonts, like he's yelling. Like, yeah. I love that. Yeah. 